All right, war number six here. Stick around until the end for the cards and the stats. I know I'm a little bit tardy posting this war. I had been working on Power Index video for the Ghost Riders, and then obviously had Thanksgiving, um, and uh, it's just it's been it's been a busy week for I'm sure most of you guys. But um, so section one here, I'm going to be on path nine yet again. I've been taking this path quite a bit this season. Um, Clairvoyant generally helps with this path. Although I won't be using her for this, these two fights in this war. So I've got a Sinister. I'm going to use Quake for that and then Killmonger. Um, I'll be using my Rank 5 Captain Marvel movie there. Section 2, I am on Backup. And then Section, uh, or on Mini Island here. I've got this Rank 3 Weapon X. I was checking to see if it was in his profile. It's not, but it, but it is a Rank 3. And then I've got this Vision Arcus on uh, Hazard Shift which I will be using Clairvoyant for. So, um, you know, this first fight is, it's it's two and a half times speed. So uh, it is a very standard quake fight. I mean, basically anywhere where you can quake somebody, um, it's going to be essentially the same as, as quaking them in a duel, just with bigger health pools. And that's the case here. Um, I was, I started the first, uh, you know, 15 seconds or so playing uh, deck style because of schadenfreude. Uh, I did have the half suicides on with the bleed, and then I switched to parry style just to be super safe and to get the fight down quicker. Um, I'm changing my masteries for this Killmonger fight. It is a rank three, and, um, it, you know, this is a good placement for him. Ideally, you would have a Captain Marvel movie that's built up going into this fight, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, obviously you don't, you don't want to, don't want to use a Captain Marvel movie against Sinister. That's why he was placed here and that's why they put Sinister there. So a good placement overall from these guys. Basically, you just want to ignore the node and, uh, try to get to, um, binary as quickly as possible and then just keep that up. Now, ideally you would do a lot more damage, um, during your indestructible phase, my Captain Marvel movie is Signature 200, so uh, you know I had that 12-second indestructible uh, phase. But um, you, you guys can see that it's you know I'm, I'm starting really to get uh, I mean I'm melting literally. So um, I go for it here with the SB2, knowing that I'll stun him, and uh, fortunately we get it down 33% uh, left on a fight that uh, you don't take any hits on, and, and I was landing all my parries. It's pretty rough. Uh, rank 3 Captain Marvel movie just absolutely blitzes that fight, no problem whatsoever. But, uh, all right, so here I've got, uh, you know, Quake on Man-Thing. This fight is also sped up. Um, I have full suicides on because of his health pool. And um, you know, the one piece of advice I would offer people is... Um, to remove dexterity altogether when you're quaking this fight. Um, I, I removed dexterity for this fight. Um, you can absolutely do this fight without um, taking dex off. However, if you dex against Man-Thing once and you keep that precision buff that you get from your dex, um, he does have a chance to nullify that on contact, convert it into a postule, uh, which at expiration feed Mystic Dispersion. So. Uh, you can really get into trouble on that node um, if you quake it and you accidentally dex. Um, it's also got the power snack, obviously. So, all right. So, um, I like to boost before I move on the map uh, just to prevent me from accidentally uh, clicking on the wrong path or something. But, um, all right. So, this is the only quake fight that I have at full speed this war and, and for, for a while. I usually speed up the quake fights, but... Um, I was pretty nervous about this this fight. Um, I've I've become pretty confident in my quaking abilities. Um, I think I've probably moved up a tier or two in terms of uh, quake skill over the last two seasons or so. Um, but you know th this this fight was still scary because it is a rank three. Uh, it's on a mini boss note, obviously. Um, so he's got uh, drastically boosted health and attack. And obviously I, I knew that he was going to be stun immune this entire fight. Um, in, in past seasons, I've joked kind of on my channel about uh, my, my quote-unquote uh, thumb agility. 
and uh, just my, my ability to quake for an extended amount of time without a break. Uh, and, and in the past, it's, it's usually been around two, two and a half minutes, and then around that two and a half minute mark, I start to make mistakes and I start, you know, whatever. So I have improved, fortunately. Uh, this fight is a pretty long one. And uh, because I'm rolling, running full suicides, I chose to do that for damage. And I figured if I got caught um, by any hits from him anyway, I would, I would most likely die. But because of that, as you guys can see, I haven't been touched in this fight. And, uh, well, I parried at the beginning. But uh, outside of that, I haven't been touched in this fight. And I've lost 50% of my health just from the suicide. So um, at this point, if I were to mess up, I, I would die. Um, he would most likely full combo me, he would crit me, and uh, he would bleed me. So uh, I cannot make any mistakes here. I'm at the finish line almost. Uh, this is almost like the most nervous uh, part of the fight just because it's so close and, and we do get him down. So um, I took a screenshot there. I was really proud of that fight. That was probably the... Well, that and the Modoc fight from earlier this season on Hazard Shift, those were probably the two uh, most strenuous um, and scariest Quake fights that I've taken um, in war probably ever. Um, so, you know, really happy the way that those turned out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so here I'm using Clairvoyant uh, for Vision Arcus on this Hazard Shift node. It is stun immune on this node, and... It does have um, debilitate on this node also, so it's it's just a it's a, a more difficult version of the path nine nodes, stun immune and debilitate. So those debuffs are going to hurt a lot more and last longer on this node if if you mess them up. So last season I had a dragon man fight here. I just got all out of whack with my rhythm, but uh, I do have max mystic dispersion on for this fight. And really what I want to do here, what I'm trying to do, the reason I hit him once is I just want to keep the space. Now, honestly, I should have um, I should have hit into his block a little bit more, but I was waiting for that poison phase to come up. Now I can full combo ending with a light to switch to uh, my poison immunity phase. I'm going to throw my SP2 while in this phase. Um, I have the mystic power back boost. And now I just want to bait this SP2 from him. And then uh, while he's in incinerate phase, I want to full combo into light, switch to incinerate immunity, and then throw off my special. I was hoping that I would be able to throw off another SP2 because that would have done massive damage. Uh, but this is still going to do a pretty good amount of damage here. Um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm right back into the thick of it. Um, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and go into my SP2. I know it's going to kill him because of the massive damage. And uh, yeah, that fight went really, really well. Um, Claire is, is just a really good option for those tricky mystic or tricky cosmic defenders on hazard shift like Arcus and Nova that you really don't want to uh, use Ghost for, obviously, or Quake or any of that stuff. So uh, Claire's been huge for me. I'm glad I ranked her up. I'm a huge fan of her. Um, and uh, Legacy, of course, with the boss solo. I'm sure that I, I'm pretty sure he's got this video out already, but. Uh, He's having an awesome season. So, uh, yeah, that was it. Our We ended up winning this war. Uh, this was one of our best wars ever, um, at least against a, a top-ranked defense um, or a, a Masters-level defense. Uh, BG3 only died once, which is great. Let's get into the stats here. I like how that rank three Killmonger in 18 is a uh, is a quote unquote easy fight just because nobody dies to that node. Same thing with with that Weapon X, uh, very easy quote unquote, but uh, it's just because nobody dies to that to that node. Um, here had a good war with Quake and Claire. Updated the defenders, five and zero this war, 27 and one on the season to this point. Improved the power rating, but uh, kept my rank among uh, the members in the Alliance. And that is it, guys. So uh, let's take a peek at the cards real fast before we sign off. Amir with the silver, PWF, and BG2 uh, with the gold. And the boy lags with the uh, platinum card. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and a comment. I'll see you in the next video.